Wunderschönen guten Tag zu diesem Video zur Live-Reaction zur NVIDIA-Präsentation auf der CES 2024. Es werden vor allem die Superkarten erwartet, die jetzt eigentlich... Ob es da neue Details geben wird, weiß ich nicht, keine Ahnung, weil theoretisch war <lacht> alles schon gesehen. Preise, Ausstattung, Performance plus bla bla bla. Trotzdem wird es interessant zu sein, ob uns Nvidia wesentlich mehr Performance für den gleichen Preis wie vorher bietet und damit tendenziell das ja ein bisschen günstiger wird alles. Aber wir werden jetzt mal reinschauen, was uns die Präsentation erwartet und ähm, gucken wir mal. Gucken wir mal. Ich bin sehr gespannt, was uns Nvidia jetzt hier kredenzen wird. We'll begin with GeForce RTX and then cover robotics. Ist das nicht der, der Let's get started. TI und TI gesagt hat? Welcome to our world, where every clip, every moment, and every detail matters. From creating new worlds to epic solo adventures and chaotic multiplayer showdowns. We take you beyond the edge. And by uniting fearless innovation with the power of AI, you're charged with superpowers, making every move momentous and bringing every concept to life. RTX, it's on. NVIDIA has led PC gaming and content creation through three decades of technology breakthroughs and performance gains of 10 million X. So There are now over 200 million gamers and creators worldwide who count on GeForce-powered desktops and laptops. Today, NVIDIA is at the center of the latest technology transformation, generative AI. Gen AI presents an opportunity far larger than the internet. Es ist so krass, was sich alles durch AI geändert hat, It will change how we interact with games. It will speed up creative workflows and will give everyone a co-pilot to make us all more productive. NVIDIA's journey in AI began in 2006. We launched the GeForce 8800 GTX. Was? Designed to play the most challenging video games. <lacht> Die Favorite, It proved Alter. that they could certainly run Oh my places. God, Crisis was a guy. The 8800 yeah. architecture also introduced CUDA cores. Allowing Die hat researchers and developers okay. everywhere to program the GPU for non-graphical applications. In 2012, a team of researchers from the University of Toronto made an incredible discovery. The GeForce GTX 580 GPU, best known for running games like Call nice, of Duty, Benjamin. could be programmed with CUDA to run a convolutional neural network, an early innovation in deep learning. In fact, the GTX 580 crushed the record in the famed ImageNet Image Recognition Contest. And the era of GPU-accelerated deep learning had begun. NVIDIA launched RTX in 2018 and set in motion a giant leap in graphics, real-time ray tracing. 10 years in the making. It combined RT cores used to process rays AI macht mir auch with Angst. tensor cores Aber es hat auch used viele for AI-powered deep learning supersampling, or DLSS. The Ray Trace Star Wars Reflections Experience, ah, das sah so which krass previously aus, Alter. required four NVIDIA V100 data center GPUs at a price tag of $60,000, was now possible on a single GeForce RTX GPU. You think she heard us? We continued to invest in ray tracing and AI. From its launch in 2018, RTX AI performance has increased 10x to 1300 teraops or tops. Now, with DLSS 3.5, seven out of every eight pixels are generated by AI, accelerating full ray tracing Alter, so by up to 4x with better image quality. Und Last das ist so krass, year, AI made ray a dramatic leap to the mainstream. ChatGPT and Stable Diffusion inspired an unprecedented investment in training and inference of new generative AI models. With 100 million shipped, RTX GPUs provide a massive installed base for AI applications. In October, NVIDIA released our Tensor RT LLM library for Windows, accelerating large language models like Llama 2 and Mistral 
up to 5x on RTX PCs. With our new Chat with RTX Playground, enthusiasts can connect an RTX accelerated LLM to documents or YouTube videos using Retrieval Augmented Generation or RAG and chat away. We are also introducing Tensor RT Acceleration for Stable Diffusion XL and SDXL Turbo in the popular Automatic 1111 app, providing up to 60% boost in performance. Looking forward, AI experiences will be delivered with a hybrid of cloud and PC computation. Hybrid AI will use NVIDIA GPUs in the cloud to run the largest language models, while taking advantage of RTX Tensor cores on your PC to run latency-sensitive applications. Krass. We are already seeing hybrid AI in action. For video conferencing, Microsoft Teams offers Copilot, an assistant running in the cloud, while NVIDIA Broadcast runs locally for noise removal and virtual backgrounds. For content creation, Adobe Photoshop includes Firefly oh, so Generative Fill running in the cloud. Das ist While so gruselig. RTX GPUs power AI tools on the PC. Ey, du kannst nichts mehr glauben in Zukunft in AI Sachen Bilder. In the cloud nichts. And PC will pull you deeper into the story. Last year we introduced Ace, our platform for AI powered game characters. Let me turn it over to Seth for more detail. Thanks Jeff. Nvidia Ace is a technology platform Change that brings Jeff. digital avatars so to life with generative naja. AI. Ace AI models are designed to run in the cloud or locally on the PC. Let's walk through an interaction with a game character. First, we start with the player's voice. Yeah, it's cool that prompt is then passed Fall. to our automatic speech recognition model, which translates speech to text. Then, we feed that text into a large language model to generate the character's George, response. Cool, After that, the text response is vocalized using a text-to-speech model, which is then passed to an animation model to create a realistic lip sync. Finally, the dynamic character is rendered into the game scene. Here at CES, we are announcing Ace Production Microservices for audio to face and automatic speech recognition. Available now, each model can be incorporated by our developers individually <laughs> into their own pipelines. We are working with top digital avatar developers to bring NVIDIA Ace technology to gamers. Our latest collaboration is with Convey, a developer platform that enables easy integration of Gen AI powered game characters. Convey's platform features a set of tools and APIs to create character personas and enable dynamic conversations leveraging the new NVIDIA audio to face and Riva microservices. The latest features Alter, from Convey enable real time eine, character to character interaction, and the complete NPCs in the video Let's spielen. take a look. In this demo, we're back in the Kamera. ramen shop with Jin, except this time we're joined by Nova a cybersecurity expert in our cyberpunk flavored world. Let's listen in as these two AI game characters have a generated conversation. Oh my God. Nova, you ever get that uncanny feeling where like those AI constructs from the old sci-fi flicks? But nah, we're too quirky for that. The cool right? thing is, the conversation's different every time. Quirky is one word for it, Jin. I think we're just too real to be anything but flesh and blood. You're not wrong, Jin. Sometimes I wonder if we're all just part of some elaborate cybernetic dream. If we were AIs, I'd be the one cracking jokes about the singularity over a bowl of ramen. Kai, long time no see. You've been hiding in the shadows or have oh, you just God. been trying to avoid me? Hey Nova, it's good to see you. I haven't been trying to avoid you, just been super busy. How are things? Things are fantastic just secured a juicy contract with Zenith and Sons. Hey, Jin, you hear that? Nova just landed a big contract. Let's break out the good stuff. Ah, uh, you got it, Kai. Nova's success calls for the top shelf Man merkt es noch. Just don't expect Aber das ist ja... Well. Oh. Ah, thanks, Jin. So, Nova, have you been playing any games recently? I've been testing this cool game tech on a secret new GPU that's launching very soon. I can't talk about it here, but I can show you at the lab. Wow, that sounds super cool. Yeah, I'd love to see the game tech. Let's go back to your lab. Absolutely. Follow me and prepare to be blown away by what you're about to see. <laughs> with Convey's latest framework, game characters can now interact with the scene by fetching objects and navigating the world, all based on your conversation. Over to you, Christina. Thank you, Seth. Ja, wie gesagt, so many exciting new developments in gaming, and it doesn't end there. I'm thrilled to share that we now have over 500 RTX games and apps. 
This includes Alan Wake 2, which won three awards at this year's Game Awards. And we just keep growing. Horizon Forbidden West, the critically acclaimed sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn, will be coming to PC early this year with the Burning Shores expansion, accelerated by DLSS 3. RTX gamers will race to save the planet's crumbling biosphere. Let's take a look. Well, it looks like the Rebels just got a lot more firepower. It sieht immer noch so gut aus, das Spiel, ne? Schon auf der PlayStation 5 sah das so gut aus. Ah. Krass. Ja, eben. Aber die Sony-Spiele kommen auch immer schneller auf den PC, ne? Pax Day is a social sandbox MMO inspired by the legends of the medieval era, where myths are real, ghosts exist, and magic is unquestioned. <lacht> Developed by Mainframe Industries with veterans from CCP Games, Blizzard, and Remedy Entertainment, PAX Day will launch an early access on PC with AI-accelerated DLSS 3 in spring 2024. Here's a peek at never-before-seen gameplay. Okay. Boah. Ja gut, die Tiere sehen ein bisschen aus wie aus dem Ikea, aber so die Natur ist schon geil. Last summer, Diablo 4 launched with DLSS 3 and immediately became Blizzard's fastest selling game of all time. I am pleased to announce that ray tracing is coming to Diablo 4 this March. Here's oh. an exclusive look with RTX on. Ray tracing immer gut. Und das wird. Wir werden in ein paar Jahren so über Beleuchtung lachen, einfach. Die damals so. Die heute in Spielen Standard ist. Our partnership with Activision doesn't end there. It also extends to the cloud with GeForce Now. In November, we welcomed the first Richtig. Activision Blizzard game, Call of Richtig. Duty Modern Warfare 3, day and date with its PC release. The lineup will only continue to grow with Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2 coming soon. Ah, we will continue to release top jetzt weg, titles ey. from around the globe like Honkai Star Rail and PAX Day. Today, hey. I am also excited to announce day passes coming to our membership options starting in February. Okay. Priority and Ultimate Day Passes will give gamers a full day of gaming with fastest access to our servers. At the intersection of gaming and ja, creating gut, is NVIDIA's halt, ne? modding platform, RTX Remix. There are over RTX 10 million Remix game mods so downloaded geil. each year. With Remix, modders can remaster their favorite classic games with full ray tracing and DLSS RTX Remix is so geil. And use generative AI tools to transform a classic game's low-resolution textures into 4K physically accurate materials. We are excited to announce that the RTX Remix app will be releasing in open beta on January 22nd. Geil. The community Ooh. mod team Orbifold Studios is using RTX Remix to reimagine Alter. one of the greatest games of all time, Half-Life 2. Ja. Let's check out their latest trailer for a first look at Ravenholm with DLSS 3.5. Und jetzt kündigen wir noch Half-Life 3 an. <laughs> Hm. Alter, Turok 2 sollen die nochmal mit Raytracing umsetzen. Duke Nukem Forever, ja. 
Oder GTA 5 oder GTA 3, Alter. Richtig Bock. Auch hier mit neuen Texturen, ähm, mit, äh, wie nennt sich das? Komplett fällt jetzt nicht ein. Äh. Text, Back to you, top. Jeff. Thanks, Christina. Generative AI empowers designers and marketers to create concept imagery, social media content and more. Today, iStock by Getty Come Images nee, nicht is releasing a Gen AI service built on NVIDIA Picasso, our AI foundry Objekte for visual machst. design. The iStock service allows anyone to create 4K imagery from text using an AI model Die Frau that is trained auch nicht. on Getty Images' extensive catalog of licensed, commercially safe nein. creative content. The generative AI service is available today at iStock.com with advanced editing features releasing via API. Let's take a look at iStock in action. Start generating visuals by describing your scene in the text prompt and select the generated image that closest matches your vision. Then add people and objects, indicating where the image you want to Tessellation. place them Tessellation. adding them with a simple My description. God, iStock also allows you to modify specific elements in your image. Das ist example, so gruselig. Select a piece of clothing and Alter, Tinder wird richtig untergehen, glaube ich. Once you are done composing your scene, easily expand your image for different mediums. Ja, klar. Go beyond your imagination and discover how easy it is to explore, design and create with generative AI by iStock. Oh my god. Twitch is one of the most popular platforms for content ja creation with over ja 7 gesagt. million streamers going live each month to 35 million daily viewers. These viewers are on all kinds of devices and internet services. Yet many Twitch streamers are limited to broadcasting at a single resolution and quality level. Okay, was As a result, jetzt? they must broadcast at lower quality to reach more viewers. Twitch, OBS and NVIDIA are announcing enhanced broadcasting. This new feature will allow streamers to transmit up to five concurrent streams to Twitch at different resolutions and quality, huh? so each viewer can receive the optimal experience. Twitch okay. enhanced broadcast will be supported on all RTX GPUs. Beta sign up starts today and will go live later this month. Because that's Twitch will also experiment with 4K and AV1. Jawohl! RTX 40 Na endlich! To deliver even better quality and higher resolution streaming. Today, we are announcing oh, the Super Series. Oh, Zeit. Let's take a look. Ah, die Superkarten. Heute startet die Beta. Mein Gott, wie episch. Ich bin Refresh. Oh, in schwarz. Uh. Uh, sexy. Geil ist dieser ey. Richtig sexy. This is the RTX 4080. Oh, For gamers, it can power fully ray traced games at 4K. Drei, voll, it is drei one slot, point four X faster than the RTX 3080 Tie without frame gen in the most graphically intensive games. With 836 AI tops, DLSS frame generation delivers an extra performance boost, making the 4080 Super twice as fast as a 3080 Ti. Creators can generate video with stable video diffusion one and a half times faster and images with stable diffusion XL 1.7x faster. The RTX 4080 Super features more cores and faster memory, giving it a performance edge at a great new price of $999. The RTX 4080 Super will be available January 31st. Next up, 
is the 990, We've added more cores and increased the frame buffer to 16 gigabytes and the memory bus to 256 bits. It's the perfect also, das ist das beste Upgrade von den Karten, finde ich. Panels and even game at 4K. Äh, Ende des Jahres, Creators ich mal. will love it for video editing and rendering large 3D scenes. It's 1.6x okay, faster than a 3070 an, ab, Ti and 2.5 and times faster with DLSS 3. It will be available on January 24 for $7.99. We're also introducing the RTX 4070 Super. We nee, added 20% nee, nee. more cores, Dafür making it faster than the RTX 3090 at a fraction of the power. And with DLSS 3, it's one and a half times faster. It will be available okay. for $599 starting January 17th. RTX is the fastest growing laptop platform, having grown five times in just the last four years. Over 50 million devices are enjoyed by gamers and creators across the globe. Today, We are announcing a new wave of RTX laptops launching from every major OEM, from 14 inch as slim as 16 millimeters to the most powerful 18 inch. There is a laptop for every gamer and creator. And thanks to powerful RT and Tensor cores, every RTX laptop is AI ready for the best gaming and AI experiences. With an installed base of 100 million GPUs and 500 RTX games and apps, GeForce RTX is the world's Die largest Bucke. platform for gamers, creators, and now generative AI. For AI enthusiasts and developers, we are accelerating large language models for RTX PCs and workstations. And combined with NVIDIA GPUs in the cloud, uh, hybrid AI will take experiences jetzt AMD further, even bringing life to uh, game I guess I'm kind of a big deal now. To power these experiences, we announced our new Super GeForce Desktop GPUs, delivering more performance and Gen AI power to gamers and creators. Ah, we also announced sexy. a new wave of AI-ready RTX laptops from every major OEM, delivering the ultimate in mobile performance. A new era of PC computing is here, and it will transform everything we do. NVIDIA and our partners are excited for what comes next. And now we'll hear from Deepu Tala about a new era for robotics. Uh. Habt ihr gerade diesen selbstfahrenden Mähdrescher gesehen? Das kenne ich aus like Gruselfilmen. How the infusion of generative AI into robotics <laughs> is speeding up the ability to bring robots from proof of concept to real world deployment. For the past few years, autonomous robots powered by artificial intelligence, are being increasingly utilized for improving efficiency, uh. increasing costs, and tackling labor shortages. I glaub, ich Logistics, weiß, warehouses, ja. and manufacturing genau den. <laughs> are the first use cases that had the biggest need. And today, we can see hundreds of thousands of deployed robots, with ja. each of them getting smarter ja, as grüße. time goes on due to AI updates. Large-scale fulfillment centers and manufacturing plants that are millions of square feet in area, continue to add more smart robots. The next wave of industries for AI-powered smart robots include agriculture, construction, healthcare, God, so and retail. In the last 12 months, generative AI has revolutionized text and natural language processing. Guckt euch das mal an, du setzt nur noch mit der Software das Ding da rein und alles andere wird berechnet, wie das abläuft. We are at the tipping point Alter. of the same technology coming to computer vision and robotics. Generative gruselig, AI ey. models achieve higher accuracy while generalizing rather well. And applications are built using natural language prompts or text. Given these attributes, generative AI is well suited for robotics. Now, let's see how NVIDIA is bringing the massive potential of generative AI to robotics. Our platform for building AI-powered robots is called NVIDIA Isaac. To deploy AI, there are two computers necessary. The AI factory is where the simulation and training of the AI model happens. It is essentially the creation of the AI model. This process can go on throughout the operating life of the robot. The AI model can be continuously improved wird die so that it gets ja, better and better, more accurate, more performant, and more generalizable. 
some applications might demand the AI model to be fine-tuned round the clock, 365 days a year. For example, if you're operating a fleet of autonomous mobile robots or AMRs that are marching towards the goal of full autonomy. On the other end of the spectrum, the AI model only needs to be updated occasionally. And as a result, retraining happens periodically. For example, a robotic vacuum cleaner that needs to adapt to your home floor plan. The AI factory oh, yeah. leverages AI NVIDIA's data center nice NVIDIA AI and NVIDIA Omniverse das würde viele Probleme beheben, ich. Now, let's switch to the second computer, which is the runtime of the robot. The computer can be an on-premise server, for example, performing defect inspection for a high-speed semiconductor manufacturing line. Or the computer can be an autonomous machine processor, such as an NVIDIA Jetson, powering an AMR or industrial arm with multiple sensors, NVIDIA, uh, such as switch cameras, multiple 2D LiDARs, 3D LiDAR, and IMU. Over the past year, we have seen how generative AI-powered chatbots and co-pilots can improve our productivity. Applying generative AI to robotics will be transformative to accelerating the development and deployment of smarter robots. <laughs> If you think back to our two-computer model, let's see how generative AI, when combined with NVIDIA Omniverse running in the AI factory, enhances simulations. We are seeing that LLMs can eliminate bottlenecks and turn typical users into technical artists. Whether it's creating an individual robotic work cell or a full-scale manufacturing facility, simulation teams make a significant investment to build a right computer. digital twin to test and train their virtual robots. Leveraging the ability to reason and generate code with a LLM like ChatGPT, the desired scene can be created from a text prompt in minutes. Under the hood, all of the available assets can be utilized and placed in the scene in meaningful ways. Robots often operate in dynamic environments. So even after the scene is created, new 3D assets will need to be generated. Starting with NVIDIA's Picasso, a text to 3D asset generative AI model, new realistic assets can be generated from a text prompt and placed in the scene. When testing or training a robot, diversity in environments is essential to ensure the robot can generalize to the real world. Starting with text prompts, generative AI can add rain, water, <laughs> rust, and more to existing environments and create thousands of physically accurate scenarios. Tasks that typically take That's a typical so artist days das ist so ein Sprung, den wir gerade machen und wir checken es nur so ganz langsam. AI can act as your co-pilot when it so comes to writing ey. scripts. Simply enter the prompt and generate the Alles was du den Geräten vorher manuell sagen musstest, könnte sich jetzt quasi aus Lernalgorithmen selbst zusammenstecken. Saving enormous amounts of expense and time. All of this capability is available or coming soon with Nvidia Omniverse and Isaac Sim. Make sure you leverage it if you're not already doing so. We showed you how generative AI is supercharging robot simulation and synthetic data generation in the AI factory. Now let's see how generative AI can turbocharge the runtime capabilities of robots. LLMs and LVMs are making it possible for humans to interact with robots man using sich das natural mal language. Vor für generative AI model trained with video, text, einfach. and also other modalities zwei. Das basiert auf Nvidia. Well and Irgendwann than brauchen wir gar nicht mehr diese Rohleistung, glaube ich, weil alles schon in vornherein gelernt und abgerufen werden kann als fertiges Asset. Also nicht optisch, sondern einfach im Hintergrund. Die Berechnung läuft dann schon vorgefertigt ab. Und damit spart man so viel Rechenleistung. User ist erstmal die Bring More Tasks. Das würde zum Beispiel viele Probleme der Spieleentwicklung auch beheben, wenn es denn sauber funktioniert. Aber wenn ich mir jetzt zum Beispiel den neuesten Trailer von... Krass. Wenn ich mir jetzt den neuesten Trailer von... Äh, 
Apex Legends angucke, das ist eine Katastrophe. Da siehst du so sehr, dass das AI ist. Welcome to Boston Dynamics. I am Spot and I will be your guide for today. Hey Spot, how do you like your job? Ja, dann muss ah, äh, Mr. Matt, my Game Freak noch weniger machen. Guide provides great satisfaction. Now behold the rock pile. Aber ich finde, warum, warum müsste der Roboter mal so gruselig aussehen? Ah. Atomic Heart ist eine Warnung, ja. Thank you for tuning in and enjoy CES 2024. Der hat jetzt hier rausgeworfen gemacht, oder was? Okay, krasse Präsentation auf jeden Fall. Ähm ja, alle, die sich jetzt die Aufzeichnung angeguckt haben, das war richtig krass. Die Superkarten hatten nur einen ganz kurzen Auftritt, werden aber offensichtlich günstiger und äh, bieten dafür mehr Leistung. Ich bin schon sehr gespannt, was man da so machen kann. Und alle, die jetzt nur ins VOD reingeguckt haben, danke, dass ihr eingeschaltet habt. Es wird immer krasser mit der KI. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.